Hey guys, look what showed up today. Another Monthly Knife Club Onyx subscription level. This is for August 2019, and uh, it's an interesting size box. I don't think I've got one this size before. It's kind of short and tall, um, and it's a little on the heavy side. So I don't think there's a fixed blade in there. It'd be a pretty small one if it is but there may be multiple knives in there. Sometimes they give you two, sometimes they give you one. I've never had more than two. So, yeah, we will see. Uh, got into some poison ivy, so you'll see that on, that crap on my arm is the poison ivy crap. So, anyways, <clears throat> we are going to open it up with the Kaiser uh, Sea Lion that came in an earlier monthly knife club box. And, uh, I like it a lot. I mean, I, I've carried it for a while now. Um, it, it's part of the normal rotation. It's just a, a really nice size knife, super light, good materials, actually great materials. Love it. So this is one of the winners from one of the previous monthly knife clubs. And man, I just not want to open. There we go. Woo! All right, there you go. It looks like we got a couple boxes in there. And normally the card's right up on top, but not today. So got something, this is Defcon Surrender Nothing Jungle Knife. No other markings on that. There's the, uh, ooh, Made in China. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, not had a brand like that before. Let's see what we got. We got another box in here. Plain white box. Um, yeah, there's the model number probably, but I have no idea what we got. So let's look at the card. Smaller card this month. So uh, they so normally on these cards, and every card I've ever gotten from Monthly Knife Club, they have what the knives are for all of their different subscription levels. This one is smaller because it only has the knives for this box. So I don't know. I mean, this has more information about the knives on there. I like that. But uh, anyway, so we got the Defcon knives. I've not had that brand before. That is... A new one for me so I like that and it's not one that we've ever had in the monthly knife club before so very cool it's called the JK Sharks Tooth Frame Lock S35 VN like that blade steel um, it's made of blue or gray titanium so, ooh, so I hope we got blue I like blue knives if it's gray I won't be as excited but uh, I do like that they put the the values on here so if you haven't watched one of these videos before, the uh, Onyx subscription level is $124, well, $119 plus shipping, so it's like $124 and change per month. And uh, then they give you the range of value for the knife. So this is, if you look it up online, usually these are pretty accurate. At least that's been my, uh, my experience with this. And now they are giving you the uh, manufacturers advertised price um, so yeah 147.95 that's that's pretty expensive but all the way down to nine, $99 if you if you can find it maybe even less maybe uh, oh I'm sorry map is minimum advertised price so there you go so let's take a look at that one first since that was on top that is in this packaging right here really nice packaging it looks like um, with the tape off here. I don't know why I always pull with the tape and I got a freaking knife right here. So, whatever. There we go. Pull the plastic off. Open the box. Ooh. Very nice. So we get ourselves a little Torx bit to take it apart if we need to for cleaning and whatnot. So that's nice that they give that to you. you. Got two different sizes there. I'm sure those are the only two with the knife. Oh, and you get an extra pivot, an extra pivot screw. 
also very nice. So that's a that's that's a good feature. Um, bag, uh, you know, it's a it's a suede feeling bag. I mean, it's thin. I've I've had nicer bags, but oh well. Interesting. It is a frame lock, like the advertisement said. Pretty nice looking knife, even though it's made in China. USA design. See that a lot. TF5219, the model number. Um, pretty freaking cool. That uh, definitely looks like titanium on the, the frame there. Very, very light. That has to be titanium. Um, you got that nice anodized backspacer and color matched uh, pocket clip. I like the look of that. It's not deep carry, but um, I like the design of it. It looks it looks cool. So that is you know right hand tip up only. So you're not going to have any other carry options. But most of the frame locks are like that. You you get one one maybe two options, but it's always going to be right hand unless you are clever like me and get the left handed uh, uh, and you get the mass drop thresher. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Uh, I carry that knife all the time. Anyways, um, premium materials on this. Titanium S35VN for the blade steel. You have a flipper, no thumb studs. Um, so let's go ahead and flip her out and see how she does here. I do like the skeletonized flipper. That's pretty cool. Do you have some jimping up there? So here we go. Inaugural flip. Nice. Very nice. It definitely feels like it's on bearings. Oh yeah, definitely on bearings. Nice action on it. It has a it has a pretty heavy detent, so you got to push pretty hard on the flipper to get it to come out. But then it comes out nice. And part of that could be because I was pushing on the lock as I was flipping. Yeah, so that was that was the problem. It was me. My stupid thumb was pushing on the frame lock as I was trying to flip it. That's why I felt like the detent was strong. It's not. It's normal. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. You got some billboarding on there. Jungle knife. There's the blade material. That's 35VN. And then, yeah, you got all the details up there with the model number, USA Design, China, DEFCON on the other side. So, um, like I said, it's pretty nice that they give you an extra pivot in the box in case you lose that one, I guess. Um, let's check the centering on it. Centering looks perfect. No complaints there. Um, even have a little, a little uh, crusher, temple smasher, if you will. Lanyard hole. Feel it's it's got a nice feel to it. Um, let's see how she feels in the hand here. Yeah, thumb falls naturally right there on the uh, the thumb ramp. Or I, I guess that's a thumb ramp. Um, mild jimping but very effective. Um, definitely grabs my finger there, but it's not overly uncomfortable or anything either. So I like that. Um, you know, the flipper, as many of them do, flips around and becomes a bit of a finger guard. No forward choil on there, so um, not going to get your finger up there to, to choke up on it, but it's not really designed to do that really. Um, you got almost a full flat grind on there. The grind goes all the way up to here. Um, I like that. Basically a spear point on that. Cool. I like I like that blade shape a lot, actually. I mean, the design of that knife in general. It's hitting all the buttons for me. Um, let's see how she cuts. Mm, that wasn't great. There we go. Yeah, nice. Nice. Very sharp. Very sharp. Yep. I'm get these little, little tiny cuts on there. See if we can get a little teeny curl going.
There you go. Little curls. All right. <clears throat> cool. Very sharp knife. Um, boy, you know, the, the Chinese keep up in their game. I mean, this is a super knife. I like it. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird is that right there where my thumb or sorry, my ring finger hits. Um, I don't know, something uncomfortable about where my, my finger hits. I guess it's that ridge right there. But everything else I like. really like that knife. That one, well worth it, in my opinion. That, I'm, I, if, if I only got that knife in the box, I'd probably still be happy. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that one. Let's see what else we got. We got another freaking knife. I mean, after, after all that, we got another one. Okay. Another knife that brand that I've never had before. Um, Proelia, I guess. Man, don't know that one. Um, D2 ta Tanto Drop Point Blade. Cool. All right. G10. Um, oh, and I guess, you know, this has... Uh, blue and gray on it it's not blue or gray it's blue and gray so i guess typo from monthly knife club it's not blue or gray it's blue and gray anyways uh back to the pro elia let's uh let's just get it out hell let's see what we got here so huh well, there we go there's how we open the box Hmm. It's a pretty big box. Fight for what's yours. Okay. You don't have to convince me. Um, let's see. It looks like it'll slide out of here, but maybe not. Oh, it's a it's a magnetic magnetic down here. All right. So there we go. We got a couple of different models there. So cool. Oh, and I guess I should say this one is valued at the, so all the way up to almost $200, you know, one ninety one sixty six, but uh, could go down as low as $60, so, yeah. but yeah, your total cost for the box is 119 as I mentioned, so, you know, there's your total value, that's the range, so, anyways, let's go back to this knife, the Pro Elia, we got another tool, with Torx bits on there so we could take the knife apart. Two, count them, two extra pocket clips. So I've never had a knife that came with two pocket clips. Only one set of screws, two pocket clips. Interesting, I wonder if there's not one on the knife now. Man, tons of extra parts, love that. That is awesome. Because sometimes, you know, you get a screw that backs out and you lose it you got the entire pivot, and it looks like a full set of screws, so good grief. Yeah, no excuses here. I mean, <laughs> no excuses for having a missing screw anyways. Got a nice, nice nylon uh, pouch that comes in. Man, that is a chunky son of a bitch. Wow, look at that. That is a big knife. I like that a lot. I like it already. Man, look at that. That's a beast. And uh, I like the, the cutout over here. So it is reversible left to right. Yay me. Lefty, lefty, I can carry it. Cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know why you get three pocket clips. Maybe they have a problem with people losing these things, but... Good grief, three pocket clips. So no excuse for that. I mean, I, I could put another pocket clip on here and I could go double pocket clip, have it left or right. Sweet. Yeah, that's kind of silly. I wouldn't do that. But anyways, you could if you wanted to. You could put the other clip on there. Look at that G10. That is super cool. I like the pattern on there. Um, you know, it... it it provides a good amount of grip there. That is, that's nice G10 work there. Fit and finish on it. Pretty freaking nice too. 
no raised edges. Very cool. You got a G10 backspacer. Stainless steel liners. Yeah, liner lock. So, and you have thumb studs or flipper. So, cool. Now, is this the extra? Yeah, it's the same. So, yeah. I thought maybe it would be a different one because she wanted to change the style on this knife, but nope. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, well, let's, let's flip out the blade and see. Um, we'll try the flipper for the inaugural flip. Ooh, nice. Man, this really reminds me of the Cold Steel AD-10. Um, man, very much like that. What do you guys think? Does that remind you anything? Does that look like the uh, Cold Steel AD-10? It does to me. I'll have to go back and look again, but good grief. That is a big, chunky knife. Love that. And uh, nice jimping. Thumb ramp. Kind of a, I guess it's like a, a Tonto point there. Yeah. And definitely a hollow grind. Um, let's try, let's try the, uh, man, that is definitely on bearings too. So I'm going to flip this the way it was meant to be on the right side. Ooh, smooth action on that. Man, that's smooth. Yeah, buddy. And do you hear the noise that's making? I mean, when it locks up, there's no mistake in it. It's locked. <laughs> you can hear that. Well, I hear that on the next floor up here in my house. Boom. Click. Good solid lockup. Yep. Man, I like that sound that makes. I'm loving this box. This this is an awesome month for knives in the monthly knife club. So if you were on the fence about it and you didn't get this month, man, sucks to be you. This is cool. And nice early lockup on that liner. Let's see, um, let's see the centering. Yeah, very nice. Gosh, it's like I like the satin finish on that. Man, D2 air hardened tool steel. Yep, D2 is a good steel. Much, much more um, of the budget friendly knives like the Ganzos are going towards uh, D2 for their newer design. So, uh, D2 is getting to be pretty common now in the knife world, especially in the budget side. So, uh, yeah, everybody keeps up in their game. But, uh, man, I love that knife. I, I'm having a hard time determining which one of these I like more. You know, um, look at that. Let's turn them around the other way, get the beauty side. Whew, man, I love them both for different reasons. This one's a little heavy, but I like it. It just, man, it, it feels like a tank. And this one is just awesome. Love it. Very light, very heavy. <laughs> heavy, light, heavy, light. But yeah, I mean, it's cool that they give you variety. I mean, I was worried that we were going to get, you know, another buck and bear knife or, you know, uh, another um, uh, Kaiser. I mean, they've had like a bazillion Kaisers in this box or this subscription but here we go we got two knives of brands that i've never owned before super cool so um i guess we haven't we haven't checked the edge on this guy still got still got a little edge here that we can we can check it not not as sharp not as slicey as the uh as the other one there but as the DEFCON, I guess. Not as sharp as the DEFCON, but still pretty sharp. Let's try it on uh, some magazine paper here. We'll cut uh, something. That, that page has been cut already. Yeah, nice. I guess I should do this on camera so you can freaking see it. Yeah, let's get another page. I already ruined that one. Yeah, this one's just not not as sharp. It could probably 
use uh, just a minute on a strop maybe. Um, I mean, it's not terrible and it's not, it's not even bad. It's just uh, that one is just a lot cleaner of a cut. But you can see, I mean, it's, it's not having any trouble. It's just, you know, when you compare it to this one, yeah, this, this one's so much, so much sharper. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So, all right, there you go, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this month for Monthly Knife Club Onyx. So, uh, yeah, get you some of that. We got two great offerings, in my opinion. I'm happy, happy with both of these dudes. This is probably one of my favorite boxes ever. I tell you what, probably my favorite box ever. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.